Hi, everybody. This is Zen Honeycutt of Moms Across America. Do you have friends or family members that don't know what glyphosate is yet, where it is, how it could impact them? Are you really committed to their health and want to support them in finding out about glyphosate? Or do you want to know more about glyphosate and how it could impact your health? Well, I'm very excited today to have Dr. John Bagnulo, who is the, direct, the Director of Nutrition at Functional Formularies, with us today. Hi, Dr. John. Hi, Zen. Great to be with you. I'm so excited. So we're going to be talking about a webinar coming up starting on Wednesday, January 25th, which is the kickoff of a year-long health seminar program presented by Functional Formulators. We're so excited about this partnership. We're very, um, we're just thrilled to have a doctor and a, a, a master's of public health. Well, I'll have you explain. How about you explain your background, Dr. John? Yeah. Yeah, sure. And I, I just want to say, Zen, that we are also incredibly appreciative of the work that you've done in Moms Across America and are so happy to be able to collaborate with you as we try to raise the public's level of consciousness or awareness around some of these key issues. And that's really what this is all about. This, um, this year-long series of webinars that you, that you described, Zen, is really about that. It's really just trying to empower moms and families um, across the country with respect to better food choices that are gonna support their family's health. So that's what it's all about. Absolutely, and we're, we're thrilled as well. And we wanna do mention that these webinars are free and they, you'll be able to share them everywhere. And we're very excited about that. Tell us a little bit more about your background. Yeah, sure. So I've worked for around 20 years or so in the field of nutrition as a researcher, as an associate professor at a couple different universities, um, and now as director of nutrition here at Functional Formularies, as you, as you mentioned. I have a master's in public health uh, which really, you know, it kind of gives, uh, gives me, I, I feel, a, a 30,000 foot level or kind of a big macro picture in terms of what's going on and all the different moving parts with respect to disease patterns and, and uh, different types of lifestyle characteristics such as diet. And then I have a PhD in human nutrition and food science, which, you know, sometimes lets me really get into the details of things that I feel are very, very important. And that's certainly the case with this topic of glyphosate exposure and how it influences human health. Absolutely. And you also have the perspective of being a father, right? Definitely. And, Def that, first and, and foremost, then. Yeah. And a farmer as well. Yeah, I've grown up, uh, luckily, I've grown up in, in rural Maine and I've spent a lot of time working with animals and plants and uh, had a small farm there in Maine before we moved to Vermont. But first and foremost, I'm a father, and I know you, know, you certainly can appreciate this as a parent of, of, of kids. It's like one thing that really emphasizes um, you know, why we do what we do, Zen, and, and makes us passionate about trying to look out for other families. Because you know, unfortunately, so many people are just so busy or so stressed and are just so overwhelmed with trying to make choices for their family that it, it becomes very, very difficult for them to keep pace with what's most important. And you know, I think, again, that's what our work does. So... Absolutely. A father first and foremost. Uh, and, and then after that, I've worn a lot of other hats along the way. Uh, that's great. And we're so excited about that. Can you tell us why glyphosate is the first subject of this health series that you're going to be doing throughout the year? Why is this so important? I think it's critical because more and more research is showing that it's on everybody's plate. It's so widespread through our food supply. I mean, there are certain foods that it's going to be mostly concentrated in, but I, you know, I want our listeners to know this is not about GMOs per se, although GMO foods quite often have the highest concentrations of glyphosate. This is not about GMOs. This is about an herbicide, probably the most widely used herbicide or agrochemical in the history of the planet. Um, and it is today's generation, it's this generation's or today's world's DDT, maybe even worse than DDT if you start to really look at the different ways that it can influence, uh, you know, soil health, human health, all, all the different aspects of the ecosystem. So it's an enormous problem. It's the elephant in the room that unfortunately not enough people are talking about. It's been shown to disrupt the microbiome. Uh, you know, again, it is in drinking water supplies around the world. And in some of the work that, you know, I know Moms Across America has helped support is showing that it's in so many Americans' urine. Uh, you know, there's tests showing that it's, it's very common in blood levels, both in Europe and in the United States. So it's everywhere. It's an environmental toxin. It's shifting the way our bodies, and in particular, our microbiome responds to the food that we eat. And I think it's a great example of how agriculture has gotten part of the, part of the uh, process wrong. I mean, food has become something that our goal is to mass produce, 
uh, and really with very little regard for nutritional quality, nutritional value of food, and for what we end up leaving behind in the soil or on plant residues. And so it, it just really embodies so much of what's wrong with modern agriculture. It doesn't have to be this way. It's not as though we have to go back to you know, a, a method of agriculture that isn't as productive or doesn't have the yields. But you know, a lot of people have been misled that glyphosate is safe um, and that you know, it, it really doesn't have any downsides with respect to the ecosystem. And that's just not the case. So I think there's, a, there's really a long list of reasons why people should put this on their radar and why people should learn about the better choices, those choices that are much more safe for their families when it comes to the glyphosate levels found in common foods. Absolutely. And so we're so glad that you're going to touch on all those different reasons why we should avoid it. And you'll also be addressing how it works, I'm, I'm guessing, and the newest, Absolutely. latest. There's a lot of new studies out. There's a lot of new information. There's information coming out every day. So I'm interested to see what you're going to cover between now and next week. I'm sure there'll be something new. And so we, we urge everybody to sign up. You can go to functionalformularies.com under continuing education. You can sign up right there. We'll also post links on our Facebook page, Moms Across America. We'll post it on our website as well. We'll be sending out emails. We want you to share it far and wide. Is there a limit to the sign up or can thousands of people sign up for this? No, there's no limit. Uh, the more the better. And I look forward to, to seeing as many of you as I can. Great. And I want to mention again that Dr. John is not only a farmer and a doctor, uh, master's of public health and a degree in nutrition as well, but he's also a mountain climber. So he, he, live, he walks the talk and he comes from being in optimal health, you know, top physical condition, being there for your children, and ha he's done all the research and he's an actual doctor as well. So really this is a, a great you. opportunity to share this with people who are skeptical or people who wanna know the perspective from a doctor. It takes a lot of courage for doctors and health practitioners to speak up about this because it's still a little bit fringe in some circles. So we really wanna acknowledge uh, the time and the effort and energy that he's putting into doing this. Um, again, it's a free webinar. So please sign up. Uh, it, the webinar again is Wednesday, January 25th at 10 o'clock. It will be a live webinar, correct? Absolutely. Okay, so will they be able to ask questions as well and comment underneath? Yeah, we're, ho we're hopeful that towards the end of the presentation, there'll be a time for some questions. Okay, excellent. So functionalformularies.com, go to continuing education, sign up for Wednesday, January 25th at 10 o'clock. And I'm sure there'll be a recording. Will people be able to also find it later? Definitely. Okay, thank you, Dr. John. We appreciate it, everybody. Check thank out monsterclassamerica.org and functionalformularies.com to find out more information for the glyphosate webinar is called understanding glyphosate the presence in foods and the potential for influence on human health on wednesday january 25th and keep your eye out for more seminars coming all year long from dr john thank you thank you zen